Evening. Thank you so much, Marissa. Yeah, that's right. So the National Guard allowed us access into the affected area, into Leilani Estates, to see for ourselves the billowing fumes of sulfur dioxide. And we also res saw residents who, despite the warnings, had to do what they had to do to save what's near and dear to them. Thick white smoke billows from cracks in the asphalt as magma moves underneath the surface. For his safety, Lieutenant Aaron Hewland is wearing a mask to keep from inhaling sulfur dioxide. The National Guard is monitoring toxic fumes levels. I counted off uh, 10 cracks all in the range over, uh, I would guesstimate, two to four inches. And in that uh, two to four inch range, um, we're already well over what would be considered safe. The plea from officials to residents, stay out of Leilani Estates. Caution tape across the road reinforces the advice. But for those who call this subdivision home, that's hard to do. <laughs> My eyes are terrible. I, could, I had to leave because I could hardly see with, um, watering, um, throat, and uh, I'm just waiting for my nephew guys to get out because they were right behind me with the trailer. Julie Lea Loja says her house is saturated in sulfur dioxide. Otherwise, Madame Pele spared her house. But you know, Tutu's going to do what Tutu's going to do, and you just got to hope everything works out, and it'll work out. We're pretty resilient people. Lea Loja is staying with friends while she figures out a permanent living situation. Residents are allowed into Leilani Estates to retrieve belongings, but it's become a strict process, officials say, especially because of the fumes. Sulfur dioxide is an irritant and at high levels can cause respiratory damage. Um, air rate 12 had a reading of 12.6 ppm last night. The individuals in our last vehicle there are currently adjudicating any alarm readings they have here, which basically means they take a handheld version of this and they verify that the readings on top of the actual main detector here is bona fide and in fact we need to take seriously. So we'll then send the notification up through the incident command post and ensure that everybody's in the proper PPE and individuals in the area are notified. The situation here on the Big Island is ever-changing, very fluid, very dynamic. Earlier in the morning, all was quiet, and that all changed in the afternoon. Stay tuned to KH1, and we'll make sure to give you guys the latest updates. Reporting live on the Big Island, I'm Bridget Namata, sending it back to the studio.